Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another day of Sounds and Words with me, Miss Hall, and me, Franny Fox. So glad you could join in again today. Let's begin by reading our learning target. I can identify specific sounds in words. Today, we are going to begin with a rhyming activity. I'm going to say two words. If those two words rhyme, we're going to put our hands in the air. If those two words do not rhyme, we'll just shake our head. You ready to give it a try? Say, sweat, treat. Do those two words rhyme? No, they do not. Good job. Say, gray, tray. Do those two words rhyme? Good job. Yes, they do. Say, red, roof. Do those two words rhyme? No, they do not. Good job. Say brown crown. Do those two words rhyme? Yes, they do. Great job identifying rhyming words. For our next activity, we are going to identify the first sound we hear in words. If that sounds a vowel, I'm going to ask you if it's a long or short vowel sound. Remember, Long vowel sounds always say the name of the vowel. Let's give it a try. Say bear. What's the first sound? B. Yes, b. Say gorilla. What's the first sound? G. That's right, g. Say inchworm. What's the first sound? I I, is it I a long or short vowel? It's short. How do you know that, Franny? Because it doesn't say its name. It says I. That's right. I is a short vowel. Say walrus. What's the first sound in walrus? Woo. Yes. Woo. Say ape. What's the first sound? A. Yes, A. Is A a long or short vowel? Long. It is long. How do you know? Because it says the name. That's right, because A is the name of the letter A. It makes it a long vowel. Great job identifying the first sound in words, as well as identifying long and short vowels. For our next activity, I'm going to get my choppers out. I'm going to say the first part of a word and then the last sound. When I go like this, you're going to put it together and say the word. Are you ready? Ramp. Ramp. Pond. Pond. Belt. Belt. Silk. Silk. Fond. Fond. Sand. Sand. Great job putting words together. For our next activity, we are going to work on identifying the final or last sound we hear in words. I'm going to say a sentence. All the words in the sentence end with the same first sound. You're going to listen and then say what that last sound is. Are you ready? Ben ran in town. What's the last sound? Mm, that's right. Mm. Russ hunts snakes. What's the last sound? S yes. S bees, hives, buzz. What's the final sound? Z. That's right. Z. Let's do one more. Grace gets bananas. What's the final sound in those words? S That's right. S Great job identifying the last sound of words and sentences. Now it's time for you to get your choppers out. I'm going to say the word. You're going to chop the first part and then the last sound like this. If I say melt, you would say 
Mel. Ready to give it a try? Say wilt. Now chop wilt. Will. Good job. Say gasp. Now chop gasp. Gasp. Good job. Say lend. Now chop lend. Lend. Good job. Let's try one more. Say lint. Now chop lint. Lint. Great job breaking words down. And yeah, good job. Now for our next activity, we are going to work on changing the first sound in a word to make a new word. So I'll say a word, tell you to change the first sound. When I go like that, we'll say what the new sound is. Ready? Say lag. Change ooh to b. Bag. Say bag. Change b to r. Rag. Say rag. Change r to s. Sag. Say sag. Change s to t. Tag. Great job changing the first sound in a word to make a new word. Now for our next activity, we are going to start by saying the last chunk of a word. I'm gonna tell you a first sound to add. When I go like this, you'll say what the word is. You ready to give that a try? Say in, add b. Bin, say it, add f. Fit, say ill, add Still, say ick, add woo, lick. Let's do one more. Say I'm, add d, dime. Great job adding a first sound to a word part to make a word. Now for our next activity, we are going to start with a word. We're gonna take away the first sound. When I go like this, you're going to say the chunk that's left. Are you ready? Say red. Say it without er. Ed. Say den. Say it without d. N. Say wed. Say it without u. Ed. Say yell. Say it without y. Oh, let's do one more. Say web. Say it without woo. Eb. Great job taking away a first sound in a word and saying the chunk that's left. Now we're down to our last activity. This one, you're just going to listen to Franny read a nursery rhyme and see if you can hear any of the rhyming words. Let's give it a try. This one's called Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock. Did anyone hear some rhyming words? Franny, do you want to share the words you heard that rhyme? Yes, I do. Dock, clock. Yes, indeed. Dock and clock were rhyming words. That's all we have for today, friends. Thanks for joining in and can't wait to see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Super job.